Easy. Exciting, aren't you? Easy. Yeah, the trickiest thing is me getting him once he gets aroused. Yep. Uh, oh, I just love his color. Beautiful. I love that dark. Yeah, he has the deep, dark. deep brown. Deep. Yeah. Easy. Good boy, Cubsy. Yeah, so we're getting uh, these two planted, and uh, we'll see what happens. It's pretty hyper. <laughs> you, you, you felt it? What's that? You said she's she pretty, pretty hyper. So oh, she's hyper. <laughs> around I other dogs. She's... Yeah, she's not around other dogs, though. Yeah. She's pretty hyper. No, she's okay. She's not trying to bite them. He's coming out there. Put her close to him if you would. Put her close to him. Don't get her, no, her, 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 her private part to his face. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's okay. It's the scent that uh, gets the male going. Okay. Okay, I have him. He's, uh, he's, he's all, he's going. So, okay, I got the, uh, the bag on him. I will collect him. Put her, put her in his face again, would you? Yeah, so the male, you may know, the whole thing is driven by the scent of the female. You move her up a little. And get no up that way, yeah, and let his yeah he he's got to smell her more, right? So I mean he's good. He, I I know he's he's doing his thing here. I can tell, but there's a few stages to the whole process. There's like a watery uh, thing, and then there's the actual uh, sperm. Uh, so. All right, good. Yeah, you can take her out. Good? Yeah. Good boy, guys. Good boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you could see, we co we're collecting cross uh, pretty much. It, it goes very quick. What's that? No, I'm talking to the camera. Uh -huh. And um, so I'm just going to stay here a minute or two and get all we can from cross. And you can see him, he's excited. I'm just kind of holding him here and uh, you should know with the male, uh, you don't want to just let him go. I don't want to just let him go once, once he ejaculates. I want him to calm down a little bit because um, on the base of the penis is the bulbous that expands inside of the female and that's what creates the tie. And you want to just let the male go while that bulbous is still expanded. So um, I'm going to wait till he kind of calms down from uh, the whole experience, right? So I'm trying to let you see there. Good boy, Galaxy. Good boy. Let you see what you can. I mean, you know, the, the trick is, I think it's the, uh, the trickiest part, is getting the bag over the penis, 
right away before any ejaculate starts to come out. To me, that's the, the trickiest part. Then you take your time, you collect it, which I'll show you, and then of course, inserting into the female and uh, plunging the uh, plunging the uh, the syringe. And so we got this far. Uh, that's a big step. And two um, two things, right? So you have to have the female, the timing, so we could collect cross perfectly, or we could collect the male perfectly. But uh, if it's not the right time for the female, then you're not going to have puppies. So that's critical. So uh, the customer here, they did a test. And going by how Cross was uh, interested in her, uh, I would say we, we're, we're good. So the main, I, I think uh, the vet had told me once where, you know, first there's a watery fluid, then there's the semen, then there's another fluid uh, that comes out too. And if you know, in a regular tie, uh, when, when, the, when the dogs mate, uh, they can be together from 10 minutes minimally to, I've seen, an hour, 55 minutes. And so whatever's all going on, there's the exchange, and then there's the, the male just being in there, so the semen... Uh, gets to where it's got to be and stays where it's got to be. So, of course, you know, the uh, first time I did this, first few times, it was very uh, strange, to say the least, but it's just he's an animal. He doesn't know nothing. Uh, I, it doesn't do anything to me here. Um, other than it's, again, initially kind of strange, but... Uh, the people have been doing it for a long time, especially on farms, cattle, uh, that's done, they've been doing artificial insemination for quite a long time. Horses, uh, can you imagine uh, collecting a horse? Uh, they do it, and so, again, I'm just kind of waiting for his bulbous to, uh, to deflate, which it is a little bit. And so, then once he's done, then I'm going to take him outside and we'll bring uh, the female back in. So we got to certainly have plenty of ejaculas here. Uh, okay, Coxie, good boy, good boy. His, his bulb was started to get soft and then it, it, it got hard again, so... I'm just going to wait, and I, I can feel him actually still throbbing. And the thing with this whole artificial insemination with this girl, uh, she can't breed naturally, right? She has a she has a little problem there with the way that she's set up, right? Um, which I'm not sure exactly what that is, but the vet said. They would have to deliver the litter uh, by C-section. So this couple, they really want to have one of this girl's puppies, and they've tried a few different things. And so we're, we're trying this, and um, hopefully it will work. Yeah, again, I don't want to just let him let him go. So I loosen my grip a lot on him. He stopped throbbing at this point, but his bulbous is still uh, expanded. So I just give it a give it a little a little more time. Uh, we've got quite a uh, quite a sample here. Let me tell you. He's still kind of throbbing, so um, I'm not going to release him until that stops and bulbous goes down. 
So I may cut this out of the tape altogether. You may never see it, but uh, I think it's good maybe to see that it takes a little time. And you don't want to just let the mail go, collect them, and then release them. Uh, that's not good. could actually hurt the mail. It is good, it's a good indication again that she was, that he was very excited with her. It's all by the scent, and I know that because years ago, um, I brought one of my other males, he wasn't getting my females pregnant, I took him to the vet. We didn't, the vet said bring a female if you have one that's in heat, you have a kennel, and so no, I didn't have one, and she said okay, bring him in, and they have this little vial, and they poured whatever liquid was in there, and as soon as they put it to my male's uh, nose, uh, he, he came right out. He was aroused immediately, and we collected him right away. So it's all for the male, it's all the scent. And so when the, when the females ovulate, and the, the progesterone level and whatever's going on there hormonally, uh, obviously it gives off a scent that arouses the male. And so... Just so, uh, just so you know that much there, right? And hopefully help you to get a successful, successful uh, a mating where uh, it results in a litter of puppies. Good boy, Kelsey. Yes, I'm just barely, I'm just holding, basically holding the bag so it doesn't slip down, um, but he is still very hard, and so I'm just going to wait until he starts to soften up there. I know I'm repeating myself, but uh, I have nothing to do here. Yeah, we did color quite a bit here. I've done this a few times, as I said, and uh, I have not collected this much, so he's he's primed up. It looks like a really, really good color, a really good collection. When we had taken him, we took Cross and had a vet do the AI, and she collected him. Took the semen in the back room there and checked it out for its... Uh, all the different stuff they look for, the motility and uh, different stuff there. And uh, she said he's real good. His count and all the stuff that the little swimmers are uh, swimming good and all that, all that uh, technical stuff there. So Cross is about five and a half years old. Typically the male is seven, eight years old. They're, they're still potent uh, by that time. And certainly Cross is at, at this stage, you know, five and a half. Good boy, Kelsey. Yeah, it's still very hard, so I'm just gonna wait. Yeah, it's actually still throbbing. <clears throat> ah, my old guy, you gotta sit down here. <clears throat> Good boy, 
Sí. Susten, susten. And if you've seen when they're done mating, when it's natural, um, they just release. The bulbous uh, deflate and then they just separate. Um, and the male pretty much, he, he goes back to regular, regular size, he goes back in his sheath all pretty, pretty quickly. So again, can be hurtful a dog, the male can get hurt if you just let him go too soon. And that's what I want to be careful of here. It can damage them. I'm not sure why, but I know the vet said that. Uh, a couple of vets, actually. And so, even though there's a little while, uh, it is what it is. And I do recommend that you uh, take the same consideration if you try an artificial insemination. Uh, on your own, of course, and that's the idea of this video, to teach other people. Um, I, at a point, didn't know, and now I know, and uh, we certainly uh, trust we'll have a successful uh, artificial insemination that will result in a nice litter of puppies uh, for this customer here. I have seen some crazy videos, by the way, some, uh, I don't know, some faraway country, let's put it that way, where uh, it's just out in the rocks and uh, whatever, and it's pretty, uh, I don't know, pretty brutal, really, uh, how, the, how, uh, how it happens there, you know, so, um, I guess uh, he's starting to, uh, he's starting to go in. But I guess I, I'm, I'm not saying, you know, brutal where they're hitting the door or whatever. Okay, yeah, he got all. <clears throat> Good boy, can I see? Well, we'll, uh, we'll talk in a few minutes. I'm going to bring Cross out and we'll get, get the female in. Good boy, can I see? Oh, really? He had to learn the commands there, yeah. He had to learn some German. He had to learn a few things. Yeah, I, think, yeah. I think he's training it now, but I think it's responding to him now. But at first, it didn't uh, know anything, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty straightforward. So I'm going to collect this up. This is a nice, this is a nice collection here. Uh, he, he was crying. So, yeah, now if you sit there and I'll get behind her and we'll do part two here. Get her to hold still. Just try to climb a little bit. Easy. Right. Okay. She enjoys riding in a vehicle, so she. Oh yeah, I, I, she enjoyed the trip here. I told her. I think old dogs do. And maybe if you could get her to stand up a second. Yeah. I'm just going to put a little, a little lubrication on her. There you go. Yeah, so I'll put a little uh, lubricant on the female.
Yeah, well, let me tell you, we got a collection here. I mean, this is probably three tubes, three syringes. All right, so now yeah, you got to do the best you can to get her where I can uh -huh. work this with her. Uh -huh. So now when you do this, you take, you insert this up. It actually goes kind of up that way. And nice and slow. So move the tail. Okay, it's okay. Good girl. Kind of feathering her as I'm getting up there. Okay, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah, I'm letting it go. You know, I'm not forcing it at, at all. I'm just trying to. Good girl. Yeah, she's really good. Um, if you get a female that's all jumping around, that's the problem. She is moving a little, but uh, overall, I, I think she's not too bad. start to get there she jumps a little all right let's let her take a the second there did you get her what's that did you get her no i didn't get her you didn't get her no no a little tough yeah i don't want to just ram it right she's so tight and everything yep. um i'm not going to just do that Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Stay, stay. Yes, you can try to hold her with it. Now she's getting familiar there. You try to hold her. You might have to put it put over your knee, actually. But let's see. Let's uh, try that. How's that work? Yeah, let's see. Good girl. Good girl. Stay still. Good girl. Yeah, let's try maybe put her over your knee. Give her, let her, let her let back side up a little. Yeah, if you could just get her belly right on your knee. That's a, yeah, give her a second. Let her. Good girl, good girl. Come here. Come here. 
yeah, that's we'll keep her there and kind of. She may not go for that at all. Yeah. All right. See if you can just get it on. Otherwise, kind of how you were doing it. All right. Okay. Come Good girl. Stay stay. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Oh, we're, we're getting in there. And six, eight inches. Don't let it, don't let it move. Well, she may not be wide, but she's deep. syringe but let's get another one and then the next big thing is just I'm gonna we're gonna just keep her still for a while and I'm gonna massage her as that simulates what goes on in the natural mating Once I got it past that little point there, uh, it's all good. Here we go, I'm almost hooked up here. Well, she, she said go, I'll get the list. I'll get one more, okay? Okay. Yeah. Well, she feels like she's pretty big now. Yeah. You see, you controlling her, like you can imagine, that's everything from what I gotta do here, right? I can't, mm -hmm. She can't be jumping around. That's why, honestly, I would like to see, like, I would like to go in the room when the other vets did what they did. They took her back, yeah. What's that? They took her back. They tried it with me in the room and they were having trouble, so they took her into the back. Yeah, I know, and that's I'd like to know that they did it. Follow what I'm saying? Yep. Um Honestly, because you don't know unless you see, and that's it. I she came like back to... into the room, there was a huge puddle of blood on the floor where she was sat. Really? Yeah, I I wasn't sure if I should be bothered by that or not. Well, I mean if she doesn't have blood here. Yeah, I mean, I'd say it was two feet round. I mean, it was really? very significant, yeah. So Maybe was, it was from another thing with the dome, or? No, I mean, when I came back, she was sitting in the puddle, and on the way home, she got blood off her vehicle. She really? She a lot, yeah. You know what? That's horrible. Well, I, everyone, I wasn't very impressed there. I mean, I'd like to know, she, think she's professional, but yeah. um, it seemed like she was kind of aggravated that day. Or yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. All right, I'm just gonna leave the tube in there a second. Right. And then once I take it out, maybe you sit back up in the chair and then um, I'm gonna massage her a little bit. And look, at, I, this was all the way in. It was it was right to here. Yeah, I'd say that went a lot better than it did at the, at the veterinary. No blood. 
Well, thank God. I mean, you know, I didn't ram it. I know to take the time. I did that. Actually, I had some blood my first time I did it years ago. I mean, that would have been her first time as well, so that could have made a difference. She had never had a male penetrator before, so. No, but I'm saying the vet. Oh, the vet, yeah. Because she should have got to put it in the right hole. Yeah. Uh, that's that's the way it is. It kind of saw, I kind of got the idea they were uh, busy that day and they didn't have a lot of time because I asked a couple questions and she oh, yeah, she's my head off. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, you know. Yeah, I'm in the hall with the mask thing. I said, no, I, I don't have to wear a mask because I, I have I had nothing to see. Yeah. I asked just a couple general questions. Like, it wasn't, they were there waiting anyway. Yeah. And her assistant told me, she said, uh, you need to stop asking questions. She said, you didn't pay for a consultation. And I, yeah, the money wasn't the biggest deal, but um, they had told me that morning on the phone, I called in, this deal would be like 500 some dollars. And I think they charged me 850 or 900. Yeah. And, uh, well, was, yeah, whatever. I was like, at that point, I didn't want a confrontation. I was like, just pay and leave. Yeah, I, I understand. But I'd like, I wish I could have seen how they did it and if how it actually worked, you know. Yeah. When no, I would like to make sure they put it where it needed to go. Yeah. Um, to me, blood is never good. Um, uh, you, you don't want blood. That means you. That means you. Yeah, you know, you, you got you, something. Yeah, you broke something. Yep. And I, I just, you know, we also. But it is what it is, and yeah. thankfully, uh, it, we got this far, and hopefully, it takes. That's the next thing. So she.